In our weekly Wellness Wednesday segment, we typically focus on a specific disease or condition and the best ways to diagnose and hopefully treat it. And as important as that is, we often tend to overlook a huge part of that entire process, the caregiver. Whether that's a healthcare professional or a family member, when there's something wrong, we often rely on others to help. Joining us to talk about this important topic is Regents Blue Shield of uh, Idaho Executive Medical Director, Dr. Daniel Meltzer. Dr. Meltzer, thanks so much for being here this morning. My pleasure. Good morning. All right. Well, for starters, would you say we have a full appreciation of the range and I mean range of people who at various times are called upon to be caregivers? You know, almost everyone at some point, either because of the professions we pursue, neighbor, friend, family relationships will be called upon to deliver care at some point in our lives. And that range of care can vary quite greatly from making appointments, helping with phone calls, managing meals, even making medical decisions or even providing hospital like services directly providing care in the home for others. Gotcha. Now, of course, since so many of us probably have uh, care caregiving opportunities obviously come up just completely unexpectedly and we lack the specialized training in that field, what would you say are some of the rewards and uh, also, of course also challenges we might face? Yeah, I mean, providing care for others, you know, anyone that's a parent at a minimum has has done that in a certain way. So we can have a sense of giving back to others for those that may have cared for us, knowing that our loved ones, family or friends are getting the care that they need and deserve. There's the development or acquisition of new skills that can bring purpose to our lives. But as you said, it can be stressful. Um, it can help us to feel isolated paradoxically since we're caring for individuals it can be an economic strain and really can be a uh, disruption to either educational or career plans particularly for younger caregivers yeah that makes sense and like we said one of the biggest things is in so many cases it's unexpected so whether we're a medical professional or just a family member maybe even a close friend newly called into that caregiving role what would you say are some top level considerations we should keep in mind when called into that yeah, I mean, so giving care certainly requires physical, emotional, and social needs that have to be integrated. And so it's hard to focus on other things when we're directly focusing on care. Certainly prefer professional caregivers focusing on things like resilience training, education around burned out, burnout, excuse me, taking refresh periods, um, and reflecting, you know, learning to work with others, getting peer support. It really requires an understanding and support, furthermore, of our workplaces, much as we do when someone has a baby. Yeah, that makes sense, too. OK, so as we said, could be unexpected. So people and those, the caregivers, they might need help themselves. So uh, where would you say a good place to go for tools and resources might be to help support them in their roles as caretakers? And uh, yeah, where can they go for help? So always recommend certainly starting with your provider or the person who you're delivering care to their provider Idaho's six area agencies on aid on aging AAAs serve caregivers across the state there's also the Idaho Caregiver Alliance which is a coalition of individuals and organizations focusing on expanding opportunities for respite for those that are providing care and finally the last opportunity could be with the American Psychological Association which has resources for family caregivers all right, all great tips. Joining us this morning has been Regents Blue Shield of Idaho Executive Medical Director, Dr. Daniel Meltzer. As always, doctor, thanks so much for being here. Thank you.